Welcome back to Foulmouth Fishing. A uh, little bit of a change of scenery. Uh, I normally would have done this inside, but right now I have no ceiling because I'm uh, renovating and ripping down all the ceiling and the old lath and the old uh, you know, stucco because it's an old house and uh, replacing all the lights in, uh, in the living room and the dining room and around the house with uh, LED efficiency lights. So, unfortunately, it's a mess in there. Uh, so, I decided to come out here on uh, one of the small decks and uh, do something it's a little different. We got a twofer. Both my uh, mystery tackle box for the month of July came in today, uh, this afternoon, and a special treat, brand new from the makers of Hunter's Hall, Angler's Hall. A brand new inaugural first month subscription for Hunter's Hall. Uh, I'll be doing a video unboxing of this, uh, so be sure to check that out next. Uh, but for now, let's tear into this July's Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition. Again, they've gone with the new green box with the nice, uh, the nice uh, chalkboard style patterns of things. I haven't seen this. This just came in. I got home from work, picked up the wife, and uh, rushed back so we can do this little unboxing. So if you don't know what it is, Mystery Tackle Box is a subscription mail order tackle company. Uh, they give you these boxes once a month, three trim packages, uh, standard, uh, pro, and elite. Elite's their top tier at the moment. And uh, they just give you a variety of baits uh, from different manufacturers, including a couple of their own house brands. Uh, occasionally they give you a terminal tackle, other kinds of things. And some minor, uh, you know, um, minor clothing options like, you know, um, Neko's, little uh, face shields, things like that. Now, I also uh, got a $10 uh, in-store credit, so I picked up some add-ons. Again, uh, I'll show you real quick. Let's open this up. So, let's see if I can find my card right on top of my add-ons. So, with, with each month that you subscribe you have the option here to add to your box. I had $10 in credit, so I figured I'd spend the $10 and get some, some things. Uh, I got two little items, cheap and expensive, it came like eight bucks, and then the remainder went towards the, um, towards the shipping cost, or actually towards the purchase cost. Um, shipping is free for the items that you add to your box, because they're already mailing you the box to begin with, so you don't have to pay additional shipping by having a second, uh, second shipment. So I got a small little fish soap that I can throw in my pocket when I'm out uh, fishing, and I got myself a new uh, rod glove. So these are my two add-ons. They're not part of this month's box. They're just things that I wrote in and added to the box to the ship. Uh, this month, July, I've got eight baits. It's much better. So eight bait items, terminal tackle and what have you, listed right there. Sorry for the glare. Um, so it's looking pretty good. There's a big one right off the top. Um, so let's dive into it. We've got our monthly sticker. What's great about Mystery Tackle Box over all of the other subscription boxes so far, uh, notwithstanding Angler's Hall, because I don't know what their box is going to look like yet. Um, you know, you get your LTB, you get your um, other boxes. Uh, they're typically, the only sticker you get is the same sticker each month. You'll get like Monster Bass gives you an MB sticker, and next MB sticker. Uh, luck, the, the difference about Mystery Tackle Box is every sticker is very much unique, for the most part. I mean, you might get duplicate stickers, but they're all different. You have, this month is the Statue of Liberty. We had uh, a fisherman getting caught by a fish, different things. It's kind of, you know, it reminds me of the old uh, Rat Rod cartoons, you know. Uh, we got a Scratch and Win sticker or scratch and win game piece so I can win discounts on things or um, money in my shop Carl's account so I can buy more things and have them added to my box. Uh, I'll check that out. Dibble Digest tricks, tips, techniques for the novice fisherman to the professional so you learn. Um, so we have how to properly net a fish, that's a good technique, and how to fish a hula popper style bait. So that tells me that probably somewhere in this box is going to be a popper. Because it only makes sense, right? We'll see. 
start off the top. An item that I do not have, I've had similar versions in the past, but not this quality. We have a Spro BBZ One Rat. So, Spro box, a tiny little top water Spro Rat. Now, I like this. This is a good size. It's their One Rat 25. It's not one of those really large wake bait rats. Um, I got the iCast in a few boxes back. I got the iCast Frog, the hard body frog. And that's a very large weight bait. This one is a much more compact and more manageable size, especially for small ponds uh, and reeks. It is, again, it's a hard body. It's not a, not a soft plastic. It's got the jointed little tails. I know these things constantly pop off. Um, so they, give, they do give you a replacement. And naturally, replacement's more of the natural uh, fur tone. And then they give you the flesh tone uh, to start with. So that's cool. Always good when a bait company adds the uh, the backup, so when you lose something, you can replace it. It's a very good square bill, wake bait profile. Can't complain. Tiny little trebles, but they're they're a nice wider gap treble. They got that little hook back in that I do kind of like. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see how this goes. This is probably going to work very well uh, if I do some of the the back creeks and stuff next time I go out. So that's cool. That's. $20.99 uh, they retail that at in the Shop Carl's website. And I dropped my card. Alright, All right. Um, so the first one was the Spro Rat, $20.99. Number two, Chase Bates Wiggle Bomb. Now I've seen other box unboxings, and this is definitely something I wanted. This is a uh, Chase Bates company. Is an awesome company. Uh, it's manufactured primarily out of Australia, but they have a Chase Baits America. Um, their, their inshore boxes for Mystery Tackle Box have had something that I'm dying to get, which is a Chase Baits Squid. Um, yeah, it's a squid. And it's there. It's a soft plastic, and the the, the flutes, the, the two side skirtings that the that an actual squid would use to swim. Um, they are so soft and pliable that when this thing drops through the water column, they literally will will swim and shimmy down and shimmy up. They have amazing, amazing action. So this is the first Chase Baits uh, brand product that I've actually had the opportunity to have. Thank you, Mystery Tackle Box. Um, so this is my first hands-on with their, their plastic material. Very supple, ultra soft, very good, collapsible. It's got the transitional tail from going from your tadpole status to your to your adult frog. And of course they package these things very securely. That's also a plus. You're not just thrown into a plastic bag. It's actually pretty well. Now this has got a copper bronze kind of amber color plastic with copper gold and I want to say like an orangey red, but I'm more to say, yeah, it's copper. Copper and gold flakes. Be nice to see a better eye than this. Uh, maybe eyes a little bit more towards the, towards the bottom rather than towards the top. Because remember, the profile of this is looking at, the fish are looking at it this way. So having the eyes being situated a little bit further uh, towards the bottom would have been more pronounced for the fish underneath. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to look forward to throwing this, twitching it, pausing it, twitching it, pausing it. And, uh, yeah, it's a very, very good, ooh, that's a very stretchy plastic, too. It's not going to break on you. So I can definitely see this thing catching some weight. It's a little bit weighted forward, so it's going to be a good pad crasher kind of, kind of bait. It's not, uh, it's not so high or so back bottom heavy. So it's going to sit probably more flush than a traditional frog that sits nose up. So be aware of that if you get this in your package. The Chase Bates Wiggle Bomb is $10.49. Next, Lucky John. I got a Lucky John X Gear. Lucky John X Gear. So they say. X Gear. Lucky John. Again, I've seen this. This is another thing that I'm happy I got. It was something that I saw in another unboxing that I wanted. And I got the same color. So this is their X Gear. It is a diving bait. This is a zero to two foot diver, which is perfect for the water that 
I go to on a regular basis. It's got that uh, eggshell crackle paint scheme, but it's not clear coated over, so you can see the texture, you can feel the texture as well as see the texture. It was awesome, LJ, Lucky John eyeballs, wonderful carving uh, in the gill plate, and it's got that spooned um, section, the coved out section for your line tie. Fire, excuse the fire. Um, that's cool, I'm happy, and it's not overly large. Again, finicky bass that might be a little lethargic, but they're in a frenzy, you can get your small mouth on this, you can get a large mouth bass as well, because it's a good moderate size bait. Uh, the Lucky John X gear is $9.99. Again, it's a two, zero to two inch, all right, zero to two feet, it's 2.28 inches, and it weighs 3 eighths of an ounce. Uh, next, Arbogast Hula Popper. See, I knew it. So you've got your hula popper style bait, and you've got your how to fish a hula tip right here. So the person who's never fished a popper, you've got tips and a little bit of information on how that's going to work. Now this is a beautiful bait. Let's see if I can get it out. Don't tell me this is taped and glued. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's glued down. Jeez Louise. That was not going to get taken by any mailman. That's for darn sure. Securely glued. All right. So much for saving packaging. Now, this is not your balsa wood. It's a plastic molded popper. Uh, it's not the traditional balsa wood. I like balsa wood poppers, but that's just me. Because it's old fashioned. Beautiful feathered treble on the rear to, gar to garner those strikes. Give that little flash, and that, and that, that blue-black mimics an awesome uh, fin, so that's definitely going to attract the fish to thinking that it's a tail fin swimming. Um, again, nice large open gap, uh, small hooks, but for the wide wide open gap for the small size hook is awesome. This is a Hula Popper 2.0, uh, and this one goes for seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. Next up. Bio Spawns Exo Swims. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I have these already, but it's never, never a bad thing to have a few more. Uh, and I don't know if I have this color off the top of my head. If memory serves me, I think I do. But I and you get that that anisette smell, mild anisette uh, scent to it, or anise, anise, if you want to call it that. Um, licorice, basically, black licorice smell. These are a 4.75. I think the ones I have are either a 2 or a 3 inch. I think these are slightly larger profile than, uh, than the ones I already own. But these are excellent trailers and excellent, excellent just to swim Texas rigged or Carolina rigged, uh, dragging across the bottom. Um, these things work wonders. When I throw these on a jig head, a skirted jig, I actually fish these upside down and I fish them and rip them so that this tail comes up to the surface and just breaks water and it kicks and it puts out a small mild wake and it puts out a heck of a lot of of whipping action as it as it just tips up and breaks water. So I, sw I swim these upside down personally on uh, on my skirted jigs uh, on a standard just a jig head then I'll swim you know traditional uh, but they are coved both top and bottom for your hooks so you can swim it you know either way these are awesome. And again, these are a nice BioSwim, or ExoSwims by BioSpawn, I should say. Uh, always do have a very good quality plastic. They're a high quality manufacturer. So, I'm loving this box so far. Name brands, products that I can count on to definitely work. That's a, a dual tone layered, and the colors that they have on this is the Electric Shad, which is that, that milky white with blue and green flake. And then the top is a, a green pumpkin pepper with uh, the blue flake continuing up. So that's an awesome, awesome color scheme there. Bio Spawn Exo Swims were $5.99. We have from the shop Carl's or the Mystery Tackle Box brand, uh, one of their in house brands. Uh, this is the 10,000 Fish Sukoshi, Sukoshi Bug. Um, awesome little soft plastic. This is another bait item that I was actually looking forward to picking up at some point, but I hadn't had yet, so it's cool that I can add this to my arsenal. 
this taped screw glue. What the heck is going on here? Carl, you're making your packages awful hard to get into. So, let's see. These are unscented. You just got your standard plastic. And this is made from uh, what they call Stretch X, which is basically a, a very similar uh, format as the Z-Man's um, Elaztec plastic. So these, again, just like the Z-Man's, you can stretch and stretch for miles. Not quite as far as the Z-Man, because it's a slightly different, um, you know, molecular makeup or, or, or chemical properties, but it's, it's a similar, similar product. Uh, six little appendages, little tiny antennae that also act sort of like uh, little tiny feet kickers. Awesome for your Ned rig. You could probably also fish this on a drop shot or maybe even wacky rigged. I don't, I don't have a problem wacky rigging that either. Uh, but certainly Ned rig style, it's just designed to sit down there and, and be drug and flap, definitely. Um, again, this is the first time I've had these. I haven't had a chance to go out. I don't know if these... I think that if, if Chop Carls wants to, I would like to see them. This is a, I want to say, what is it, 2 inch? 2.5 inch. I'd like to see them come up with this in a 5 inch profile, have a slightly larger head, and have this head uh, be, have an air pocket in it. Rather than being solid plastic, or soft plastic, but have a cove inside with air. So slightly increase the, the dimensions here and the length and put air in there so that the rest of the worm or the creature bait or whatever you want to call this would sit down and that air pocket would force this to, to rise uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the bottom. So I think that would be cool. Let's hopefully maybe they'll come out with that. They'll come out with a, uh, a slightly larger body profile um, in your standard colors, black blue flake, you know, green pumpkin, red flake, that kind of stuff. And uh, maybe get this thing with an air pocket. That would be that would be an awesome, awesome design tweak. We'll see. That right there is a five dollar and twenty nine cent bait. So I'm not mad at Chop Carl's throwing in. We got two so far of the. Uh, no, just the one. So one one Chop Carl's thing so far. Uh, that again was. Uh, Five dollars twenty-nine cents. The Riot Baits Little Fizzy, or Fuzzy, excuse me, Little Fuzzy. That's Riot Baits. Now this is a, a four-pack. I'd like to see a six-pack, but it is what it is. So it's a four-pack of a beer beaver-style creature bait. You got your green pumpkin pepper on the back and a darker green with black flake. And blue flake on the top half. Uh, they're calling this uh, tournament proven lures. Um, no, I'm not one of those people to do unboxings and just read what's on the back and act like that matters. I'm trying to give you actual intelligent information. I don't need to send, you know, give you their commercial promotional crap. Um, it is oily, so it's not scented, but it does have a little bit of oil on it, so that's good. Pretty, uh, pretty well constructed. I like it's got six little small leg appendages, two little flippers that are actually have a uh, like an angle iron pattern to them, so they're going to catch water in a unique way. Let me see if I can separate those from those. So we'll try to rotate this through. If you can kind of make out that low dark line, that is the transition for the bait that has like uh, an I beam and then the paddle on this way. So it's, it's kind of cool. And of course you got your little paddles here. And these also have a small little cove on the, ta on the tail ends to, uh, on the outer edges or leading edges of the, of the claws or flappers that'll catch water and add action. This, this small profile would make an excellent trailer, I think, on a, on a jig head. So I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to throwing that as a trailer. A little short for me throwing it, you know, weightless or Texas rig, or, you know, just stand alone. That ride bait, little fuzzy, is three dollars and forty-nine cents. Last but not least, speaking of the ten thousand Sakoshi bug, we've got dead bolts, hard hat jigs, mushroom head jigs. These are 
$2.49 with a wire plastics keeper. So you got your little wire hook plastic keeper there. And it's a nice little mushroom head. And these are these one odd hooks, black heads, and these are one tenth of an ounce. So these are nice little ultralight finesse. This is not for catching monsters. <laughs> one tenth of an ounce. It is a it is a flexible hook. You know, it's only a one a size one, so or one odd, I should say. So uh, you know, but definitely, definitely look forward to catching something with these and those uh, Tsukushi bugs. So two dollars forty nine cents for a two pack of these hard hat baits jigs, or excuse me, uh, mushroom heads. So, just a real quick rundown. You've got the Spro Rat, $20.99. The Chase Baits Wiggle Bomb, which is that awesome transitional uh, frog, tadpole to frog. And that one's $10.49. Lucky John's X Gear with that cool uh, crackle paint, that's $9.99. The Abergast Hula Popper with the beautiful, beautiful uh, crafted feather treble on the back end, $7.99. The Biospawn Exo Swims, awesome, awesome bait, $5.99. The Sukoshi Bugs, $5.29. Riot Baits Little Fuzzies, the little fuzzy uh, paddle tails, they're going to, or excuse me, beaver tails, they're going to be $3.49. And again, the Jigs, $2.49. Not a bad box. I'm actually very pleased. I wasn't so superly over the top with last month's, uh, being that the biggest ticket item on it was a single set of line. And I was a bit miffed that the July box, or excuse me, the June box, was uh, basically just a pro box with fishing line. That was kind of disheartening. I made mention of that. Um, they took that constructive criticism. I didn't blow up and scream at them. And I've got anger issues, so I'm known to blow up and scream and make a, make a fuss. But um, they, they took the criticism. They got back to me. They did enjoy the feedback. And I... I really impress upon you out there who do get these these baits, um, do get these boxes. Make sure feedback is key. It makes the next generation of boxes that much better. If you're seeing things that you know for a fact need to be tweaked, give that information to Mystery Tackle Box. Find them on Facebook. Find them on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and contact them through the Shop Carl's uh, you know contact on the site, and just give constructive calm and and very precise information and you never know the next box is it goes from a C plus to a B plus to an A plus and that's how we grow to get better and better boxes because they need that feedback and that's what keeps them on the right focus because if everybody just kinda accepts whatever they get you're gonna start seeing corporations just assume that they're doing great and that's when they start to trail off and slip and you might end up getting more and more boxes that aren't that great. So far, personally, with getting the highest price tier um, of these boxes, I am at a 95 percentile uh, approval rating so far. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm getting these this year. I'm going to do these unboxings through to December. Uh, whether or not I can carry on next year, we'll see. But I'm also very interested in this coming up next video uh, we'll see how the anglers haul now where mystery tackle box lucky tackle box um, six cents lures primarily focus on the lures anglers haul is a totally new ball game they're not directly penned into just lures they do lures they do clothing and apparel they do uh, tools and utensils they'll do um, you know, uh, tackle equipment, rods, reels, all kinds of things. Um, I was very ple pleased and lucky to be in on the early bird inaugural pre-orders for this. So I got the very, very first Angler's Hall box. I'm just hoping that it supplies with the same quality of items as the Hunter's Hall. Uh, however, I will, as a disclaimer, say... Angler's Hall, I feel personally, I don't know exactly, but I feel from experience of watching over the other unboxings of the Hunter's Hall boxes, um, especially the Advance, which is their top tier, they they slightly push the price points. Uh, so are a little bit expensive. 
with that said, it's been a long video. I'm going to leave you with uh, tight lines, keep fishing, and uh, I'll catch you next cast. Foul mouth fishing. Take care. Hope you enjoy. Bye.